Okay, hey guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing off a brand new aspect of the whole control scheme which I've just added to the setup. Uh, right now, uh, this setup basically covers everything from iPack uh, over to uh, the Xbox 360 controller as well as uh, Zinmo setups. But the only sore spot that uh, I never really was able to tackle, I guess maybe I never really thought about it, uh, was uh, the direct input controllers which are uh, PS3, PS4 and PS5. So um, I was kind of like looking at the uh, DS4 Windows software and I was figuring out a way to kind of like integrate that into the setup and it's not really all of that intuitive. So I started kind of like thinking a little bit about uh, how I could kind of like do this like a different way and I came up with like a pretty good method and what I did is um, I actually, uh, I, I realized that Joydy Key has like um, a button switch uh, function. So what I did is I basically created a profile uh, with the correct button switches for uh, the PS3, or I guess the PS controllers, and it basically just converts one button into the other. And I did this for the entire controller and then I took those files and I scripted them into the setup so you can basically just run something in the master control panel. It will switch it up, uh, allowing you to use those controllers, those direct input controllers uh, for the setup. And uh, now it's actually a, a true hybrid, uh, like 360, you know, set up all the way across all you know all different control types so this is actually a bit of a milestone it's it's, it's actually kind of it's, it's kind of nice anyway um let's kind of like jump into it here and i'm going to just show what i mean off and right now it's a it, it the control type is in its default settings uh right now it's in uh the keyboard ipack uh setting and if i just kind of click here it's going to you know it's going to basically configure everything that needs to be configured across across the entire system everything from MAME uh, all the way to Dolphin to PCSX2 PCS, PC uh, RCSP3 um, as well as other emulators RetroArch etc and then if um, and, and if you go if you look up at the top here uh, you're going to see the Xbox controller and a wireless controller. The Xbox is this controller here. And uh, you can see all the face buttons, all the triggers, uh, start and select, etc. And everything is as the way it should be. But uh, if you pick up the PS3 controller, these are going to be the face setups. And that's actually wrong because that actually should be X and Y. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is X and Y, but I haven't actually switched it over yet. I forgot. Um, so let's kind of close this down. Sorry, I, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, let's close this down, and we'll go down here. And you'll see a brand new entry into the master control panel. And it says Zinmo PS4, PS5, direct input. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click the, uh, the button. And it's just going to go through and, and configure everything for the Zinmo side of things but with one critical modification and that's going to basically be swapping in the proper profiles uh, I made for the PS5 controller um, and it's going to basically just uh, finish up and go through the script here I'm going to click OK uh, we're going to relaunch Joyda Key and we're going to open it up here and now you've got uh, uh, the Xbox controller as well as the wireless. So now I'm holding the PS4 uh, controller and if you I'm gonna hit uh, the X and Y wait oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna hit the X and Y and what used to um, highlight uh, the A and B uh, is now highlighting the correct two buttons and then um, here and then if you hit the triggers, it's going to be here. And then you hit start and select, it's going to be uh, buttons 7 and 8. Plus, you've got your, uh, you got your right stick, you got your left stick, and then you've got your up, down, left, and right. And then, so if I go back to the Xbox controller now, just to kind of like show proof of concept, here are your X and Y, and those are completely wrong. And then A and B are completely wrong. Uh, start and your 
select are going to be your LT and your RT, which basically is wrong as well. And then you've got your bumpers and your uh, your triggers, and those are wrong as well. It's actually highlighting the left and right stick, and then left and right sticks um, are, are pressing your start and, and select. So um, the PlayStation 3 is right now, or I guess the PlayStation controller is right, and then your Xbox is wrong. So if we're going to go back, uh, let's close it down again, and just make sure Jordi Key is not running. And we'll go up here and we'll hit control fix again. So after this, I'm just going to reload Jordi Key. And then I'm just going to show uh, the controls for the Xbox 360 controller. Give it a second. Uh, this is just kind of copying a whole bunch of MAME profiles for individual games. So let's, uh, let's open up Jordi Key. And it should be here. And then if you go, I'm going to press start, select, it's right again. Your triggers. And then um, your left and right stick. As well as your face button. So uh, back and forth between the two controllers. Uh, this is a true hybrid setup now. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, for, thank you for your time, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye.